Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. What we're going to do now is use this nice table of transforms that we have derived and have on the board to solve some real problems. We're going to start with the easy problems and gradually ratchet it up. I think you're going to find that now that we've gotten over that hump of understanding what the transform is, what the integral is, and how to, how to use it, and how to build this table, that these problems here are quite simple now that we know how to do that. So let's say that we want to find the Laplace transform of the function of time, t to the fourth. So that's f of t is equal to t to the fourth. So the way you would do that on your paper is you would just say Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the Laplace transform of t to the fourth, right? So how do you do that? You go over to your table of Laplace transforms and say, hey, is there anything that looks like that? Ah, t to the power of n. It's going to be n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1. In this case, n is equal to 4. All right? So you have 4 factorial over s to the 4 plus 1. All right? And then 4 factorial, you should know, is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over s to the 5th power. And so what you're going to get is capital F, which is a function of S, which represents the Laplace transform of the function of F transformed into the S domain. 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, over S to the fifth. All right? And that's what you would circle on your test. So you have transformed from t to the fourth on into the S domain, which gives you 24 over S to the fifth. And now you have a function of S. So that's why we say function of time, function of S. The F goes with the big F. That just lets you know that these are linked by this transform. We use that sort of um, um, symbology there. But really, it's its own independent function of S, which is representing the function, but in the Laplace domain, or in the S domain. All right, now the next problem, let me switch colors. What if we have F of t is sine of 2 times t? And you want to find the Laplace transform of this. So you say Laplace transform of sine 2t. And you go over here and say, is there anything that looks like that? And of course, we have a sine function right here. In this case, beta would be 2. Sine 2t, beta would be 2. It's going to be beta over s squared plus beta squared. Here, beta is equal to 2. So I can just write, uh, refresh my memory, at beta over s squared plus beta squared, where beta is equal to 2. So it's going to be 2 over s squared plus 2 squared. And so to write the full answer, you can say f is a function of s, which implies that you've already transformed it. It's 2 over s squared plus 4. And that's what you would circle again on your exam. So notice